This is what orange files mean and how to fix them in Serato DJ Pro. What's up, y'all? I have about 27 minutes till a meeting and I figured I would just hop on here and explain what orange files with a little question mark mean that are in your library and how you fix them. I've been getting this question so often that I'm just going to make a video to explain it because that's the quickest and easiest way. So let's jump into Serato right now. All right, so right off the hop, you're going to notice I have a ton of orange files. And what does that mean? That means that, okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to get this location column because it's going to show you where that song, where it came from. And what you would have noticed if you looked, but you're going to come here, hit this little arrow, hit location. It will show you where it's at. Where they all were was in my E new folder. So essentially what that means is that's where I download all of my music all of my brand new music, I just dump it into that folder and then I go through, I'll load it into Serato, I'll color code it, analyze the track, do whatever I gotta do before I put it onto my DJ hard drive. And on my DJ hard drive, there's gonna be very minimal orange tracks. Like there are some, but it's gonna be very minimal. On my home computer here, I have a ton because once I load the music onto my hard drive, now it's gone. And because I didn't delete the backup, it's always going to be here. So these tracks are just gone. But in Serato's mind, they're still here. And I'll show you where that would be. So you'll see here on this drive here, let's just go to E to make it simple. Uh, the E drive here, this is my new folder. So this is where all my new music is, all my new stuff. But right here, there's this folder called Sor underscore Serato underscore. This is your backup folder of your crates. So if you came in here and just deleted this, it would delete everything that would be in here like on the next time that you load serato everything's going to be gone because those crates are right here sub crates like it shows you queen's main room blah 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 all of your crates are here and i probably have this on almost every single hard drive i have because i load music from a lot of different places yeah like there's one right here uh, because this has dropbox music in it uh serato has a backup folder here so this might be something that's causing you a lot of grief um, and you might not know why. So the first thing you want to do is just find out where it was. So if it's all in like somewhere, if you have a system like mine where you download stuff and then move it, if it's all there, you can feel free to just literally come in here, uh, shift, grab it all, control, delete, and now it's gone. And you're not worried because you know that like that music literally is gone. Like you already had it, then you moved it or like you... you organized it, sorted it, got rid of it, but you didn't get rid of the file. Um, but if it is a track that is supposed to be there, we're going to find out how you can fix that. Uh, and Serato has a way, like they try and help you with this, but in my opinion, it's never really worked for me. It might work for you. Uh, it takes a long time, so I'm not going to hit it, but it's this button right here, relocate lost files. It's just going to search your whole hard drive and try and like find the track that matches that. And if it does, that's great. But if it doesn't, the way that I build all my crates is I build it in Windows Explorer because at that point, I know it's already in crates. It's not gone somewhere. It's not gone missing, but there's no chance of just Serato something happening in Serato and me losing all of that. So I just do it in a different way uh, because I like to be sure that it's always going to be there for me. So here I have a folder. I just called it Serato test folder. I've got two tracks in here and I'm just going to show you like how this might happen. So you downloaded music or you got your music somehow. You downloaded it somewhere and then you dropped it into Serato and then it's there. It, it works. <laughs> Music. You've had it, you've played it, um, it was all going well, and then one day, we're going to, uh, I gotta just un eject that so it's not loaded, uh, but one day you were changing something and you moved your music out of this Serato test folder. So, and it'll show right here, this is where it was loaded at, Serato test folder. Right now, it's blue. Uh, but it's not here. It got moved. The, the song got moved. It got deleted. Something happened to the song. It just lost its file path is what it's called. The file path is missing. So you come over here and you try and play the song. It's gone. And you're like, what? What happened? What happened to my song? 
Where'd it go? I I love this song. I loved its effect. I oh this one's gone too. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? So you could try and relocate. Um, I'm not gonna do that because there's probably a lot like you saw how many orange files there were. I don't want to crash out. I want to finish this video right now. Uh, but let's just do this. Um, if you had the time, I would assume that it would be able to locate it here because it just went one folder up. Uh, but I'm just gonna manually do it. I'm gonna put them back here and then all is well because if it, if it was my hard drive, it would all be there. I was just, sometimes I'll just literally delete my whole hard drive, bring the crates that I want, just drop them in and then I'm ready to go. Uh, but we know that they're back in place. Boom. <laughs> And that's it. That is the end of the video. If you like this, please uh, smash the thumbs up button. It really just helps me out. Give me a like and I will check you on the next video. See you soon.